Hi, I'm David Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use layered blend per bone. I always forget its name. I'll always call it layer, layer blend. Okay, it's a way to blend two pose or two animation together from just a bone. So it's like this. For example, in here you can see it has this pose. It can walk, and if we hit two on our keyboard, it's 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 like uh, it. It's have a rifle, right? So you can see if we hit one, oh, the animation is working fine. If we go backward, go to the right, and we can change the uh, gun in its hand, okay? Right now it doesn't have gun, and I will show you how you can add gun to it. It's easy, and I want to show you how you can change the position and blend two animations together like this, okay? So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporters. They help me a lot. They help me to create all of these videos without working anywhere. Thank you, thank you very much for supporting me. And next, I should say that this video is a part of video series about animation blueprint and animation in general. First, we download the character, we read that character, we import that character to Unreal Engine 5, we create animation for that, we retarget all the animation that we found out there, like mix them all, like UE5, Marketplace, or wherever you want, okay? Now I want to show you how you can use layer blend per bone, okay? So first of all, let's just go to our dragon that we all Always use right that we download your rig and we create animation for right so in here first of all let's just go to game mode open up this or character right and again go to here again we should go to animation control folder and in here I want to open up the animation blueprint okay you remember from last video what we have done and I want to delete close everything in here so it will be uh, easier to work for first of all what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cache this one I did talk about the cache right so let's just cache this jump and I want to talk about it a lot so we can drag and drop from here and tell it to cache this cache okay new save cache pose and I want to call it head of two in it so you want to call it jump with movement cache okay so we can use it wherever we want so now I want to show you the best way to do this kind of stuff and uh, doing it like this it is okay but um, it's better to do it in horizontal way right so with this we know from where we start our animation and we can see the t something like timeline right so we know first of all we check we go through this movement state machine and after that we add jump to it so what it means it means that the, this jump because in it it use a let me show you it use our movement cache in here so this jump state it will this jump state machine it will override this movement state okay doesn't matter which one uh, doesn't matter if you go forward backward right left doesn't matter where you go when the jump is going after that it will override that right so in in air it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't play the animation moving forward backward and all of that it shouldn't it should be override right and know that we cache all of these we want to use this cache that we did it in at the end of these uh, horizontal timeline that we create for us um, and I want to use this for the result in here for output pose right we say use cache and we want to use cache jump with movement cache that we just create in here right and if we connect it here compile it everything should work fine now about those guns and in here let me bring this here let's just bring them here so we just watching this we know we start from here after that here and after that we connect it to output pose like this right now we want to have a more animation for example holding a pistol or holding a rifle right we want to do that and for that, first of all, let's just go to our character in here. For example, at top in here, we want to say whenever they hit one key on their keyboard, okay, we want it to have pistol, okay? And whenever they hit two key on their keyboard, we want it to have rifle, okay? At this time, we have just two gun. And with that, I want to create a variable in here so we can access it in animation blueprint. And I want to call it is rifle okay is rifle and it, we want it to be boolean of course you can, if you have more gun you can use enum for that but in this case because i just have two animation one of them for pistol and one of them is for rifle i, I just use this it's easier and you get you understand it better so whenever they press one we want to say is rifle okay is rifle is not or it's false okay and if we if they hit two on their keyboard is rifle we want it 
to be true okay and that's all we need to do in this uh, in our character let's just close that we don't need to do anything about that right so and in here i want to go to event graph in here double click in here you can see we have we calculate the speed is it on air and direction okay let me delete this one we don't need it and know what i want to do i want to get that variable in here get is rifle okay this is rifle is exactly what we create in our character because we cast our uh, pawn owner to the our dragon character that we create in this video series so we can get the variable for that now let's just create another variable in our animation blueprint and call it is for example rifle anim okay whatever you want to call it and i want to set it in here with this value and it needs execution pin so let's just kind of Put it in here and connect it like this let's just organize something put it here let's just do it for this one as well and now everything is a little bit better right everything a little bit better to do it like this no we know when we want to play the rifle animation and when we want to play the pistol animation right so now let's just go to anim graph in here and in this movement, okay, we want to add to this movement, right? So, for, for example, from this bone, from this spine bone, to top, we want to play a pistol animation. To the down, we want to play forward, backward, left and right, and all of that, right? So, for doing that, we need a movement, we need our movement, and we need a state machine in here as well, okay? So, let's just create another state machine for our, our guns, okay? Head of two on it, and I want to change it to guns, okay? Double click on it to go inside the entry. I want it to go to pistol estate, for example, pistol. So, in this pistol estate, if you double click on it, we want to find pistol, idle pistol, okay? And we want to put it in here. And if we go back and drag and drop from here, add another state for rifle, okay? And in here, in rifle, let's just search for rifle, and in here i want to uh, i want to choose a idle one okay let's just put it in here and no everything should be cool we have two estate and when the is rifle is true okay we want it to go to that rifle animation okay so is the rifle anim is true it should go to rifle animation and if it's not it should it should go back right so let's just again use this get rifle anim and in here tell it not boolean not it so if it's not true go back to pistol animation right everything cool in here we didn't do anything new but let me show you now the important thing in here. I want to first um, unlink this with holding alt click in here. Now we have two estates that we want to blend together, right? One of them is for holding a gun and one of them for walking forward, walking backward, walking to the right and walking to the left, right? So how we can do it? We can right click in here and search for layered blend per bone choose this and what it will give you it will it will tell you to choose a base pose and after that the blend pose the pose that you want to blend to that to that base and choose the weight so if you put one in here it will choose this animation in here over that animation but if you put something between one and zero it will uh, blend less in, uh, from the blend pose one let me show you with an example connect these two here and connect it to movement cache in here no the important thing is to click in here and go to layer setup this layer setup is important okay we want to tell it to from where to where blend okay so for example if i go to a skeleton in here this is our spine tree and we want to from here to the top all the bones that is a child of this spine tree all the bones that is a child of this spine tree i want to have the animation of holding gun doesn't matter which one rifle or the pistol right but the all the animation at the bottom of this i want it to be base animation for example walking to the right walking to the left walking forward and all of that right let's just go back again to animation blueprint in here and in here we should choose a bone so click in here to add something in here and choose a bone name to tell it from this bone name whatever that is child of this bone name should be the animation above it should be blend to the base pose right so for finding that if you again go back to our skeleton in here we want it from this spine tree whatever is child of this and uh, it means the head the hands hand or hand hand left right so right click in here copy selected bone name and again go back here and put that in here a spine tree so from the spine tree whatever that is child of this spine tree 
it will play the animation of guns that is in this state machine and whatever that is not child of this spine tree bone it will play the movement animation doesn't matter which movement animation move forward backward left right doesn't matter okay so with that we are finished let's just compile and go here make sure that you select the right game mode i did talk about how you can create a this game mode from scratch just watch my playlist of video about animation unreal engine 5 animation no let's just play and you can see it's like holding a pistol and if you have had, have had two on our keyboard no you can see the animation is different and you can see the animation just at top is changing you can see that at top is changing but the bottom has its own animation everything is working fine and that was it guys for this video that's how you can use animation blueprint with layer blend per bone so until next video please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye